Hi and welcome to my channel. Today's topic is how to add chatbots to your portal or custom website. In this video, we would look at two different ways to add chatbots on your website. So I've created a bot that will guide on the development of PCF custom controls. I've created my user topic and then given some key phrases over here. And uh, if I go to the authoring canvas, then I, I can see that I've added some messages, uh, some questions, conditions, and, uh, and this is a flow, right? I can test my bot using this test bot um, framework that is provided as part of the Power Virtual Agent. And uh, if I type in PCF, then it responds back with some messages and then it also asks some question which gives me an option of yes and no. If I say yes, then it goes and does condition check goes to show the messages that are in the yes block and then ask another question. Uh, if I say no, then it goes to the no block and uh, and then it just ends the conversation. Uh, I can say yes and it will give me the feedback. So that's all what my bot does, right? Um, let's say no thanks and that's it. So that's all what my bot does. Now, this bot is uh, like this, I've authored the bot and then it's all working good. Now, once my bot is ready and once you think that you can publish it to a um, larger audience, then you have to go to the publish site so you can publish it. So I've already published my bot. Now, once you have published it, there are several ways you can share this bot or you can embed this bot on, uh, on some channels. So once you go to manage, you can go to channels and either you can test it on your demo website. So let's say you are working with group of users, you're working with product owners and you have created this bot and you want to share this or demo this to the audience, you can demo it with a, a demo website. Um, it's nice. Uh, so you just click on demo website and then you just copy it. And uh, once it's copied, you just paste it in the uh, browser and you, uh, this is where you get all the functionality for your bot. So you can test it, right? Now going back. So now here is where you can embed your uh, custom website. You can embed it on a mobile app, Facebook, Teams, Skype, and uh, all of the channels as well. Now, we are more interested into how to embed this on a custom website or a portal. So portal is again, it's a custom website, right? Now, if you go to a custom website, as I said, first we're gonna look at what are the two different ways you can add the chatbot on your website. So the first way of adding the chatbot to your website is provided by the uh, by the platform itself. So when you click on custom website, it gives you an embedded code, which can just copy it and then paste it on your website, which shows the chatbot. So what it does is it gives you this iframe code that you can just copy it and paste it on your website and you should be all good and golden and your bot would be working. But the thing is when you add an iframe, it occupies that space on the website, right? So sometimes you don't want to do that. Sometimes you, and also it, because it's an iframe, uh, iframe has its own drawbacks. So sometimes you want to embed it as a div tag or something uh, more robust than an iframe. So the other way of embedding um, your bot is by writing the code. So now let's look at our portal. What I've done here is I've changed the title um, and then changed some subtitles, added some text over here. And, uh, but now if I want to add my bot, then there's no out of the box way of adding the bot to my portal. Well, you can add custom code on your portal, right? So for that, you need to open your source code editor. So if I click on this button, then I would get access to the source code, but I have to, select the section first and then click on the source code editor to access the code, right? So this is my 
code for the body uh, where I have some sections, some containers within the sections. So here is my H1 tag with the tryout, the chat part we made. Uh, this is the section that I'm, I'm referring to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a code to this div tag. And what that code is going to do is it's going to launch the chat part on your portal. The code snippet will be, will be provided on the link that will be given in the description of this video. So I've copied my code and then I'm going to paste it after this particular div tag over here. So I'm going to paste it after this entire div tag. Okay. So that's there. Now let me explain you the code. Okay. So what I've done here is I've added a div tag with a class called chat popup, which I'm going to use in my style sheet to um, give theme to my uh, to my chat board, right? Uh, and then here are some styling inline styling that I've given. This is the main thing that we need for the for the chat board to get displayed. So it needs a div tag, an empty div tag with another div tag underneath it with a role main. And then we need to add some scripts. So this script is from the bot framework. And then we need a script. Uh, so the first script that we have is it's looking for any tag that has role is equal to main, which is this tag over here. And it's setting the attribute to uh, attribute ID to web chat. What it does is if you look at the pillow thing, we have this style options over here and uh, we have the bot ID provided over here and the URL for the bot ID. Okay. And then we have the fetch query. What this fetch does is it goes and calls this script um, and then gets the conversation, gets the, gets the uh, web chat rendered and then shows uh, on your, um, on your portal, but then it loads that web chat by the element ID of web chat. Now, initially what I did is I was trying to give ID over here is equal to web chat like this. But what was happening is whenever I used to save it, uh, after some time, after a few minutes, it, somehow when this gets refreshed, the ID used to get lost. This ID that I had provided used to get lost. Uh, and what I, uh, what I saw was it used to work initially. So if I refresh my portal, Now I can see my bot getting displayed over here, but it's getting displayed somewhere on the screen. Um, so PCF, if I give that, just gets displayed over here and then now it starts working, which is all good. But after some time, um, when I open the source code editor and go back here, um, the ID used to get removed. Uh, I think so it, it happens when you refresh it, uh, but it was sporadic. Uh, I was I was not able to replicate all the time, but sometimes I used to, uh, I was able to replicate it. So what I thought is if it's an issue just with the ID getting um, removed, what I could do is I could write one line of script so that I can always maintain and make sure that the ID is always getting added. Right, so that's why I added this uh, line of code where I'm I'm looking for any any um, any tag with which has role as main, and I'm setting the uh, ID attribute of that particular tag with the web chat. Now that is making sure that anytime I have a div tag with role as main, it would always have ID as web chat, so that my code below, which is looking for a web chat ID element always renders properly uh, with the chatbot. Okay. In the next video, we would be looking at how to style your chatbots. And that's all about chatbots. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, then leave a comment below.